Okay, so I got a request on how to set up the control parameters for certain physics. Um, like if you have like ear angle, which you would also use for physics for like moving up and down on your model, but you also want to attach it to some other movements or you want to apply it in the animation tab. Um, I I will show you how to do it because I did not explain it in my last ear tutorial, but it's because I don't know. I did not. I didn't know how to explain it then, but I played around with it more to try to um, mentally understand it, so I could explain it in a video. A video, and um, it's pretty easy. So if you look at my model right here, and I go up and down, the angle is affected by X and Y. But you can also see that I have like an automated ear twitch that happens once in a while, which is set up in the animation tab as an idle animation, but it uses the same parameter as ear angle. And when I open my eyes and um, this is actually attached to eyebrow movement instead of eyes, but it is also attached to the same angle parameter. So that's basically what I'm going to teach you. And I have other examples too, like, okay, so this is the physics screen. All you have to do is do all your ear parameters, right? And then you have your control parameter too. And you can see right here that um, when I move the control parameter, which actually doesn't, it doesn't have any like inputs in it itself. Um, or it doesn't have any um, keyframes assigned to it either. It's just an empty parameter with nothing in it. Um, it moves the angle of the ear, which is the goal. And you could do this with anything really. So this is just an example with the ear. Uh, this is how you set it up. There is no group made for um, the control itself. So what is happening here is that the control is an input for angle. The output is just ear left angle, which is the parameter that was, um, you know, you know what I mean? Yes, <laughs> the one that you want to be the output, right? That's the output. When you go to the animation tab, let me find it real quick. So we'll go to ears. You could see that right here. Well, you can't see because I'm in the way. But you could see right here. These are, this is control. I have some animation set up here. You won't be able to see it actually like in the preview of the animation tab, but these play at like certain intervals, right? It's only the control parameter moving here, as you can see when I scroll through the animation. Um, but once you go into your physics tab, oops, back here, hee <laughs> hee. Once you go back to your physics tab, you could actually preview all your animations. Um, so my animation was called scene one. You just press play and it should preview all your animations. So you'll see the ears here like that. It has twitchies and this is all linked to just one parameter, which is angle ear angle, whichever ear angle it is, right? And you can see here, ear angle group has a lot of different inputs. So um, brow is one. So when I open my eyes wider, it will make my eyes go, my ears go down. Um, and then all the other physics ones. So this, al this way allows you to use it for animations and also uh, connected to physics. And another, um, example of it, which I kind of fucked up. Um, the animation itself um, is only set to wing control, my control parameter, which is empty in the animation tab. Then you could see here the control is actually controlling the wing um, physics, and I'll just show you in the group itself. So let's see, where the hell wing, wing L and wing R. So it's controlled by body Y and wing control. So you can see here, body Y will move it up and down when I move up and down, but then wing control itself is just the idle animation. And also I'm just gonna fix that real quick. So um, you don't know how to use the animation tab. It's very useful and you should totally do that. And I guess the problem I have here is that things are overlapping on each other. So turn on my wing. 
and then play the scene. You'll see if it's fixed or not. <laughs> that was a pretty bad, uh, bad mistake on my end. Uh, but see? And that's basically how you use control parameters. It's really easy. Um, I don't know why I didn't explain it last time. <laughs> Honestly, I think it was just too long. Um, this should be a shorter video because it, it is really easy. Um, but I hope that helped. And if you have questions, just leave it in the comments.